Anne says basically that she's found a great product in Australia, so domestic sourcing, and she contacted the manufacturer and via email and via phone, which is great. And the manufacturer basically has been very, very slow to respond and has not given her very good customer service. So now, even though she believes the product is very, very good, she's kind of thinking, I'm not gonna go with this product because of the way the manufacturer has treated me. In my experience, there are three reasons that the manufacturer will treat you poorly. There's three reasons that they will do that. Reason number one is that they think you are a time waster. So manufacturers get lots and lots of people coming to them every single day, uh, and the majority of those people turn into nothing. And so it has become, in many ways, a um, almost like a gatekeeper approach to make the people that come to them jump over hoops or jump through hoops to actually get to the product and get selling because it's a way then that the manufacturer knows that you're serious unless they cut unless you come from uh, a company that they know already and trust then oftentimes they will just put you through that just to weed out the people who are not really serious so there's that uh, it could be number two which is that they are very very busy and they are trying to keep up with orders and because of that their customer service is slipping I've certainly seen that where factories of, of products have just gone mental and then all of a sudden uh, all of the systems in the business go to pot and the customer service doesn't get taken care of because everybody's trying to keep up with all the orders I've certainly seen that I've actually had businesses like that myself so I know what that's like and the third possible reason is that they've just got terrible customer service and that's all it is. Um, so if I were you, the first thing to make, make sure is to get treated at least like you're serious is to follow the systems that I've put together when it comes to uh, approaching manufacturers and approaching factories. So follow those systems because they really, really do work. If you use the language that I've told you to use, follow the scripts as well, then you will come across as, um, as a serious buyer. And that's what they're interested in. And of course, they wanna find serious buyers. The second thing that I think is always good to do as well is when you are getting really bad customer service is to, is to call people on it. So if it were me, I would call the company speak to whoever it is that I've been speaking with and say to them, in all honesty, and coming from a really good place, listen, I know that you're probably very, very busy, but I want you to know that I've not been, I've not had a very, very good customer service experience with your company. And I'm aware that that's probably because you're really busy trying to keep up. But I want to order from you uh, but it's stopping me ordering because now I'm worried that if I do order from you, then I'm going to carry on being treated poorly and that's going to have a negative effect on my customers who I want to make sure, get sure, get treated very, very well. So can you help me understand what's going on with your customer service so that it doesn't put me off ordering from you? And if you come from a space of, I, I really genuinely like your products, but I'm worried about ordering because of the way that I've been treated, because you're not getting back to me, because you, your customer service is, is not up to scratch, they will respect you for it a lot. They'll really do. And, uh, and you'll get treated like a king or queen as a result of that in my experience. So you might wanna try that and as well. That could really help. Yeah, just before you go away, that was a question that I got asked on my regular Monday night Q&A session, which I have with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. So if you're interested in joining us as an Aussie Online Entrepreneurs, and you can click on the link below to find out a lot more about that. And, uh, and also as a special thank you for watching this video, I've got a uh, great book that I wanna give you uh, for free. 
It's a current bestseller on Amazon, and it teaches you everything that you would need to know about starting a business uh, here in Australia on Amazon. So uh, you can see that just up there. So if you'd like to get a copy of that for free, then again, just click on the link below and uh, you'll get a copy of that. You'll get to taken to a page um, where you can get a copy of that for absolutely free. Hope you enjoyed that little snippet from one of my Aussie online entrepreneur Q&A sessions. And uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also like this video. And if you've got a question that you would like answering, then post it in the comments below and uh, I'll do my best to answer it, whether on one of these videos for you or directly in the comments directly below. All right, thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time on the next of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs Amazon FBA Australia videos. Switch you soon.